Tonight, we thank God for being able to celebrate once again with our beautiful hosts, the town of Brookhaven and the Brookhaven Town Hall here with wonderful refreshments, great camaraderie, and a wonderful program. The candles of the Holy Temple that we're commemorating Unfortunately, for the past 2,000 years, ever since the Jews have been in exile, we have not had the opportunity to see those candles. So the commentators further ask, why then are we then celebrating Hanukkah candles? Why the Hanukkah candles that we celebrate by lighting them at night, at our doorway, in our own home? Eight candles, so different than the candles that were in the Holy Temple. What is it so unique about the Hanukkah candles that are eternal, that even during our darkest times of exile, we still light the Hanukkah menorah? And the mystics and the Hasidic masters explain that the candles in the Holy Temple, they were candles that were there in a time of holiness and a time of light. But the candles that we light the menorah tonight, they are candles that came after a period of darkness when the Greeks and the Syrians tried to defile the Holy Temple and destroy what was there. Only afterwards were they able to find one pure little bit of olive oil and light the menorah. This is a candle that came after darkness. Light that was able to get through the darkness, penetrate the evil, and still be in existence. That is a light that's eternal. All of us, the past few years, have gone through tumultuous times, some dark times, some desperate times. But as we know, the spirit, the soul, never gets extinguished. That soul is reminiscent of the light of the menorah. That kindling of the menorah, that light is eternal. That regardless of whatever we've gone through, we're resilient, we're strong, and the light that we light tonight of the Hanukkah menorah, after being in the dark for a year or two, is even stronger and will be for eternity. Tonight we light the menorah, a menorah of eight different branches. We may have all different kinds of views and different types of attitudes, but we all are connected at the stem. We're one people, one people with one God interested in doing the right thing and making this world a better place for all. I'd like and call upon Sophia Hassid from Chabad Hebrew School to read for us a poem about Hanukkah. temple stood in the year 3622, the evil Greeks persecuted the Jews. They prevented the Jews from serving Hashem, and if they were caught, a, punish would, a punishment would be given to them. Matthias Yahu, the high priest, stood up and said, this isn't right. We cannot go on hiding into the night. He and his son, Judah the Maccabee, made an army to fight back. Through training in numbers with weapons they didn't lack, but shh, slowly but surely, they were winning one step at a time. Now the job of cleaning all the Greek gook and grime, searching and looking for some pure olive oil, for some days they were to toil. Finally, they found one small bottle of oil and shattered her right. Sadly, the small bottle seemed as if it was only enough to, for one day, as they would fill the manure each day from the drop. The flame kept burning for eight days and didn't stop, so now every year we this miracle we commemorate with lighting the menorah, giving thanks to God, and eating lot, because is how we celebrate. Give her a round of applause. Thank you, Sophia. Well done, well done. First, first of all, we want to thank the town of Brookhaven for being a gracious host. Gabalos for sponsoring the latkes for tonight. Starbucks of Selden for sponsoring the coffee. On the back is stand for everything else. As you notice, what is the tallest candle on the menorah? It's called the shamish, the servant candle. It's not the candle that we 
light from, it's not counted of the two nights of Hanukkah, but it is the tallest. Why is it that the tallest candle is not the one that's counted of the one of the candles of the night? In fact, it's only a servant candle. Judaism teaches us a very important lesson. As much as we do in this world and we gain for ourselves, we accomplish more by giving to somebody else. The servant candle is not there for any other reason other than to light the candles. Because the more we give and help somebody else, the greater we become and the taller we stand. It is our distinct honor and pleasure to call upon the Honorable Ed Romain, who is going to be lighting the Shamash because he personifies what it means, a public servant, being there standing taller than everyone else only because he's there to help another person. I've known Ed for many years now, almost 20 years. Been to his office in Riverhead and been to many places wherever his travels have taken him all the way through the towns and the lobbies of all different halls and offices. And we're glad to, and I'm happy to call him my good friend to please come up and share with us a few thoughts. Rabbi, it's truly a pleasure to be here. And the town of Parkhaven absolutely joins with the community in celebrating Hanukkah. This is a festival of lights. This celebrates the time a dark time in Jewish history, about 168 BC, when the Syrians had attacked and killed several thousand Jewish people in Jerusalem, took the city, desecrated the temple. And then Matthias, his son, Judah, Judah Maccabee, led the rebellion, drove the Syrians out, recaptured Jerusalem and the temple, and went to purify it and found only enough oil for one day. And yet they lit the candle for light, for hope, to start the process of purifying the temple. And that oil would light that temple for eight days. Something of a miracle. Something of God saying, thank you. Thank you for taking my temple back. Thank you for sanctifying the temple after it had been defiled. So today we celebrate. Rabbi spoke eloquently of the darkness that we faced in the pandemic. But there's one thing that gives us hope. The one thing that gives us light. And that's faith. Faith in God, and faith in God's word, and God's instruction. And the rabbi spoke so eloquently of that. So I'm going to turn this back to you, rabbi, and say to everyone here, on behalf of myself, Kevin Laval from the town of Brookhaven, the senator, you want to get up and say, just give a wave, so a state senator. We just want to wish all of you a very happy home. We want to make sure that the light that God intended for us shines brightly, particularly as we face this new year and the challenges it, it, it confronts. So from us to you, may God bless you and always watch over you and your families as people of faith. Thank you so much. This is my first time to the Brookhaven event. I'm typically at an Iceland event, and, and I love that my new district expands so much into Brookhaven. It's a fantastic community, and it's so great to be in a room full of noisy joy. And so I wish you all a very happy Hanukkah. Thank you. We also want to mention we have over here Kevin Lavelle, good old friend. Council member. Please a big round of, round of applause for Rab Rabbi Goldberg here. Does a great job. He has known my family for more years than I can imagine. Actually, when my brother was supervisor of the town, it was the first year we actually held this event here. And the rabbi reminds me of that all the time. He say, your brother stepped up for us. What, what are you going to do? I, I get that right away. But certainly, I just want to wish everybody a happy Hanukkah. You know, we've had a tough couple of years. 
And I think, you know, what really gets us through these times is our family and our faith. And I think a strong family and a strong faith will get you through anything, especially what we're going through right now. It's amazing to see watching communities come together, especially uh, places of, of, of worship that have come together to really bring this community together, and bring our whole town together to really move us forward and continue to move us forward. And I just want to thank everybody here for what you're doing for, for the community, for our families, and certainly happy Hanukkah to everybody. Thank you all. Okay, so now moving along, we're going to be lighting the menorah. So we have the papers, are the blessings and the songs on everybody's table. We're going to ask the honorable town supervisor to come up and please light the shamash, servant candle. Hey. 